When Sarah McFarlane was only 11 years old, she got very sick. She had a virus that led to the need for a heart transplant. 17 years later, she was sick again. This time she needed a new heart, liver, and a kidney. One hospital she visited in her home state of Michigan told her family to start making end-of-life preparations. It seemed like a dead-end street and we were um, given um, palliative care and some hospice talk. Hundreds of miles away, a truck driver from the south side of Chicago felt sick. He had a cold he couldn't shake. He ended up in the emergency room at the University of Chicago Medicine. He got news that he couldn't believe. A condition called sarcoidosis was causing multiple organs to fail. He thought of his three-year-old son. You keep on pushing, but you never give up. But it was like, it was just getting the best of me. The two ended up at U Chicago Medicine, where they became friends each encouraging the other through the difficult process. It was really cool that to learn. I didn't know both of us were waiting for the same thing, but I know it would be the same age. And um, I really think it'll be cool to see how we both like advance and do afterwards. Daru had a match for the triple transplant first, and Sarah was waiting for a donor. Then, in the middle of Daru's surgery, something incredible happened. A second donor, a match for Sarah, was found. No hospital has ever done two triple organ transplants of this kind in the same year, let alone back to back. But the staff at UChicago Medicine knew they could do it. They had to do it. We need to find the strength and the power, and actually there is a lot of adrenaline involved. Doing two marathons back to back was not, uh, was not difficult, realizing what the end result was going to be, that we were going to be able to help both these people. The surgeries took 37 hours and both transplants were successful. I actually felt really good. Media from all over the world picked up the story. Other hospitals actually turned Sarah away and one even suggested end of life care. But then she met Daru and their lives changed course together. You're 100% right. This is the rare it can be. I, we never in our dream thought it would be so close. In tonight's Inspiring America, two strangers who beat the odds and made medical history now bonded through incredible life-saving gifts. 29-year-olds Daru Smith and Sarah McFarland linked by fate and desperation at University of Chicago's Transplantation Institute. A remarkable achievement said to be the first time that a U.S. hospital has performed back-to-back -back triple organ transplant surgery. The news touched millions of people. I am reminded on a regular basis what a special institution this is and how we can solve particularly difficult, serious problems. Sarah went home first. It's hard to leave. <laughs> we built up a great relationship. Everyone was loving and respectful. Daru, a few days later. It makes me happy. That's the happiest part. Like, I get to see my baby. Uh, I don't know, like, every time I just think about him, I'll be breaking down. Each with a new chance at life.